Hello again everyone, it's Vladimir here from Foxy Voxel, and today I'd like to tell you about our new update for Going Medieval, available to download now on the Epic Games Store, Steam and GOG. With this update, we've really concentrated on developing how animals work in the game, particularly how players can utilize them or be affected by their behavior. Along with adding new animal types, there are now many more ways that animals can impact your gameplay experience as you build and grow your medieval settlement. You can now keep domesticated animals in pens, such as sheep, chickens and goats. Having them will allow you to harvest a variety of useful resources. For example, you can get wool from sheep, milk from goats, or meat and eggs from chickens. Some of these animals might also appear in the wilderness, which brings us to our next feature. You can now tame wild animals to add them to your settlement. So if you find a goat wandering out in the wilderness, you can acquire them through this method instead. Technically, any animal in the game is tameable, but you'll have varying degrees of success depending on what type. Wild chickens are easy to coerce, but you'll have more trouble with wolves, and failing to tame them may have dire consequences for your settlers. If you're successful, you can keep an animal in a pen, or choose to train it as a pet. Keeping pets can have a variety of benefits, depending on the animal you have. Some of the larger ones, like deer, can help you haul items to stockpiles, while animals like wolves may defend your settlement when it's under attack. All animals can become pets, but their usefulness certainly varies. In theory, it's possible to make an army of chickens, but in practice, they won't really be that much help to you. The way animals behave in the game is also now a little more realistic compared to their real-life counterparts. They now require food and sleep, so you'll notice that their behavior will change to meet their needs. We've also added a unique sleep schedule for each animal. Some will sleep at night, while others, like foxes and rats, rest during the day. There are now both male and female animals, each with their own characteristics and behavior. Of course, by keeping them close together, you can expect them to produce offspring too, which is helpful if you'd like to increase the number of animals or pets you have. Outside of animals, we've also put a lot of work into some technical aspects of the game that sit behind the scenes of Going Medieval. This includes pathfinding, which is what helps the AI know how to navigate the in-game environment. The work we've done here recently will allow us to implement some interesting new changes in the future. This includes advanced settler and enemy behavior, and at some point soon, we'll be able to add the ability for settlers to jump gaps in the terrain and to do things like climb up and down walls and ladders. It's also now been one year since Going Medieval launched in Early Access, so it's great that we can celebrate this milestone alongside a new update for the game. We really appreciate the positive response we've had to Going Medieval over the last year, and we've been amazed by how many different ways people have managed to build their settlements. So we'd like to share a huge thank you to our community of players for the support they've given to the game so far. That just about covers everything you can expect to find in our new update, and we hope you enjoy checking out these new features in the game. Thanks for watching! Our fourth update for Going Medieval is available to download now, and you can keep up to date with the game by joining our community on Discord or by following us on Twitter.